Hey guys, so on this Saturday afternoon, I'm going to take a trip to a nursery in West Palm Beach called um, Jack and the Beanstalk. So Jack and the Beanstalk has a avocado tree that I want to get today um, called Super Haas. So the Super Haas, um, from what I read, is cultivated from the regular Haas avocado. So it's supposed to still have that high oil content and that rich buttery flavor that you know everyone looks for in an avocado so you know that's what i'm getting today um i already have two avocados i have a marcus pumpkin and a choquette avocado but i wanted to get this one because it's highly rated and i do go after the highly rated um trees now, um, I've never been to this nursery, so this is my first time going. Um, they have great reviews, so I'm kind of excited to see what they have today. Um, so let's see, as far as specs go on the tree, um, the only thing that I read that was different from the Haas is that it has a bigger fruit. So you're supposed to get like at least a pound um, per fruit um, versus the regular Haas that's smaller. So I am almost there so I will uh, record again when I get there. Okay so I'm here. Let me flip the camera around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So it basically looks like a house with um, a big extended piece of land looks like lots of varieties to choose from so let's go take a closer look so I'm on the outside of the gate okay here's their nursery sign Awesome, awesome. Very nice place. Entryway is very inviting. Very nice. So, let's go find. Hi! Someone to talk to. Um. Yes, um, the Super Haas Avocado. Oh, uh, sure. Those are actually here. Okay. I have it in Seven Island right here. And I do have so many 15 gallons in the back. I think you told me that you want a bigger size, right? I'm just looking. Oh, okay. I'll just show you in the back. Um, I have more in the back. Okay, okay. But I, that's so, size, size, this is the seven gallon. This whole row is seven the, gallon. Uh, yeah, the Super Haas is this light, actually. Oh, this one? Yeah. This okay. One. And then the 15 gallons, I have it, like I said, I have to get it from the They're back. in the back. Okay. I'm most likely going to take a seven gallon because mm -hmm. my husband is not with me, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. They're, they're pretty fluffy. You know, that one is already pretty, see? Yeah, I see. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to look and see which one I like better Absolutely. and just go with that. Absolutely. Okay, let's see which one let me get they all are the same height so how are these trees as far as um, disease they're, oh they're more resistant actually in terms of humidity conditions because the the house itself is actually like mm, can is does not it, it really it could die when it's small when for, because of the humidity conditions that's what they create a super house. Mm -hmm. The super house, it actually tolerates more humidity and it thrives in this environment better. But it gives you the same fruit. Okay. It does give you the same fruit. Uh, the difference also is the house is more like a summer harvest, mm -hmm. like a July, August. And this is more like a fall, like in October, September, October, November. Is the, is the actually a harvest fall. Okay. 
Okay, awesome. So, um, I'm going to take... I don't know. This one looks okay. Though they all look nice. 15-gallon Super Haas. And these in the front are 7-gallon. So, I'm going to pick one. Not the... Uh, 15 gallon, I'll take a seven gallon. Okay, so I'll just get this one here in the front. It really doesn't matter. They're all the same height. Um, it's this row going right here. They're all the same height, except for the last two that's um, 15 gallon. So, let's just look around really quick before I check out. They have mangoes. This is a sweet tart. Madame Francis. Honey Kiss. So, there's a lot. This is ice cream. Pina Colada. Ooh, I love to get one of those, but in a seven gallon, which is so hard to find right now. Um, let's see, what is this one? Glen, the classic Glen, cotton candy. I heard Honey Kiss is good too. This is Keysar. Lemon zest, which I wanted so bad before, but I changed my mind and got a um, orange sherbet instead. This is a Julie mango. I'm trying to see if they have a pina colada in a bigger pot. What is this one? Oh, Chalk Annan. All the pina coladas are small. Man, that sucks. Pim Sing Mum. I can't get a big pina colada to save my life. Everywhere I go is small pina coladas. I need a big one. So over here they have um, smaller gallon size of Avocado, this is a Brog Brogdon, um, Oro Negro, Choquette, which is what I have, Catalina, Donnie, Russell, Pollock, Hardy, And what are these? It look like um, potato mint. Never heard of that. So these are papaya. Jamaican cherry, which is what I have. And here are like um, nursery plants here nursery plants or what I like to say landscaping plants okay let's go back this way let's over in this aisle oh this is June from what is this? Soursop. Graviola. Soursop. What is this? Loquat. Cherimoya custard apple.
sugar apple. Cashew tree. Cashew trees. Those are very nice. I had a cashew tree, it died. Don't know if I will uh, replace it. This is jackfruit. What kind is this though? J31. This is black gold. And this one is coaching, if I'm saying it right. Hog plum. The orange one, it looked like. Over here is more soursop, sugar apples, mame sapoti, peach tree. Um, over here look like citrus, clementine, murkot. What's this? Sure, nui, deco. Han Sumo. Okay. Hope I'm not butchering that. <laughs> lemons, Meyer lemons. What is this? Persian Tahiti lime. Eureka. This is the Eureka lemon. What are these? Pomelo. We have pomelo here. This one is called Oro Blanco Pomelo. Oh, this is the sour orange. Okay, that's what I have in my backyard. Cool. What is this? Temple orange, raw mandarin. This is navel. Sangjunelli, if I'm not butchering that. Taro cold Italian. What is this? Oh, Caracara Cara red navel. Okay. Very nice. What's this one? I don't know, I'll see a label on these. Patamba. This is um Abu Sacanastel, but what kind? Luku, Lukuma? Trumpo, Oro, Trumpo. Okay, so it's a Trumpo. White Sapoti, Denzler. I don't know if I want another white sapote. Right now I have a red land. This is a black sapote. I don't want any more sapotes. This is the black sapote. So it's green. When it's unripe and when it's ripe, it turns like a darker color. Muscadine grapes. Sweet sunrise, passion fruit, passion fruit, purple. What's this big tree? It's all in my way. I was about to run into this. What is this? Okay, let's go this way. They got banana, super red, plantain. 
What is this? Goldfinger. Goldfinger. So I have Goldfinger bananas. Grand name. Truly tiny banana. Wow, it is kind of small. It's like three feet high. I wonder if it stays like that. This is a double Mahoy banana. Man, they have a lot of stuff here, guys. La Cotton. If you guys are interested, you can come to this nursery. More citrus. And check out their selections because this is a lot. Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to get everything in this video. I better walk fast and try to get at least most of it. Oh, look at the, the freaking breadfruit, guys. Oh, my God. I guarantee mine's going to be like this by next year. Because it's growing so fast. I wonder what kind these are. I see four. These are great. Nice and tall. Okay, so the back fence side. This look like landscaping trees. Dwarf pomegranate flowers. Why it says dwarf pomegranate flowers? So you don't get fruit? I don't know. That looks like fruit to me. What's this? Queen of the night, Jasmine. Okay. Guava. White guava. White guava. This is lychee. What's this one? Vietnamese kilo guava. What's this one? Yeah, kilo guava. Oh, Jabba the Kaba right here. They got Jabba the Kaba, guys. Brazilian grapes. So I'm assuming that's just like the regular ones. Um, not the ones that I have at home. The dark red and the blue and all of that. That might be the regular one. This is a Ruby Supreme Guava. Which down here you could really get from Home Depot. Uh, let's see. These right here. Catch you. Humongous. Wow. They gotta be at least uh pushing 10 feet right here in front of me this cashew wow all these cashews are super tall what is this nance cherry never heard of that but there it is <laughs> um this is Aki. West Tropical African, Africa Gold Coast and Ivory Coast. That's the origin. Average height 20 feet. Season fruit twice a year in Florida. Heaviest crop is summer. Damage temperatures 28 to 30 Fahrenheit. This is the cashew, origin, North Brazil. Height, 12 to 15, season, spring to summer, damage temperature, 30 to 32. Okay. And next to that, we have the Kamito. 
Star Apple. Origin West Indies and Central America. Height 25. Taste is a mild grape like. Harvest is February through May. Damage temp 28 to 30. I think, oh yeah, so that's the green commies though. I think I would have to ask her to be certain. But this is it right here. Right here. What's this? Oh, the Ruby Red Supreme. This is the Nani. So I heard those are good as far as health benefit goes. What's next to that? Tamarind. So they have tamarind. Don't know if that's the sweet or the regular one. It gets 25 feet. Tamarind. This lovely tree here it looks really nice. What is this? Orange crushed jackfruit, which is what I have already. Uh, what's this next to it? Um, This is a berry jam. Okay. Heard of that one. Some people are getting that. Um, this is a almond. Wait, is this the tropical almond that I have? It is. OMG. Sorry if the video is long, guys, but I'm in a nursery. Really can't help it. What the tag say? Oro. Okay, it's the Oro. And it's the can style. Next to that is the pomegranate. Ooh, what's that in the back? Ooh, a peanut butter tree. With peanut butter fruit on it. I'm going to ask her if I could taste one. Awesome. Uh, what's that tree? I don't know. This is a Barbados cherry, though, right here. Ooh, I need to go around the back. Looks like all the goodies are back there. Oh, so no. Filmed that one already. What is this one? Oh, that's the cherry. Oh, what was it called again? The Nance Cherry. Never heard of that, but it's cherries on it. I don't know if you guys can see up there. Where is it? There it is. Lots of cherries. And it gets tall for a cherry. Okay. Nance Cherry. Here's the sign again. These get tall. Wow. This one is probably like 15 feet. How would you take that home? You <laughs> got to pay for delivery. Um. Yeah, let's go around the back because I saw. <laughs> See, this is where I'm parked right there. But she said she ought to keep that gate closed. So I guess if you want to back in and load up your truck or whatever, they'll open it. So back here is more um, Kaimito. These are taller. Oh, this is the purple one. Cool. Wow. Mine's is really small. I wonder how much these are going for. I'm going to ask her because I don't see a price. Uh, what's this one next to it? Looks like a guava. 
so I don't see a tag. Um, oh, this is the um, Nani. Really big. Has fruit on this one too. Man, I'm gonna be here all day, guys. I'm gonna have to cut this video a little bit. Uh, what's this one? Yellow. Oh, this is a yellow. What? A yellow mangosteen? I never heard of that. Wow. I thought it was only purple and red. Very cool. Never heard of a yellow mango steam. Awesome. I don't know if I'm late to the party, guys, but I never heard of a yellow mango steam. Cool. Okay. More jackfruit. This look like tamarind. What kind of tamarind is this? Just regular tamarind, okay. But look at the freaking star fruit, yo! Damn, what kind of star fruit is this? Like, I could literally take one and eat it right now. What is this? Look at those! Look at those! Oh my god! Uh, let's see if we can find a tag. Carambola carry. see a tag but look at this like if I worked here some of this would be going home with me though look at that look at this like these trees is loaded like loaded um I don't know the kind, so I'm gonna have to ask before I um, ask for a sample. Okay, we zoom out. This is the tropical almond right here. More star fruit. Oh Lord, look at this, y'all. Loaded. Look at this. Loaded. And they look ready. Oh, I didn't even show you guys these over here. What is this? Black pepper. Pimenta negra. Wow. But why I look like a vine? Oh, it is a vine. Okay. Peppers. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I have some questions for sure, you. Sure, sure. This is the cinnamon. That's the cinnamon tree, yes. Yes. That's the one that you actually get cinnamon. Right. When it gets older and it gets woody, you start getting the cinnamon. Right, right. The other one is the, the tea plant. It's a yerba mate that the Argentinas drink it to give you energy. Oh, okay. I wanted to ask you about this, though. Um, I'm really excited when I saw this. <laughs> okay. Because I just bought a really tiny, tiny one. Uh -huh. So, what are these going for? This is the tropical almond, right? Yes, yes. In that size, are 70, but we have in Trigalos at 35. The Trigalos is a good size. It's about this size, actually. Oh, okay. Yes, from the ground. But you said this is 7? 17, 17 that's right. 17? 70, 70, 70. Oh, 70. Oh, okay. This is $70. 70 dollars. But we also have in 3 gallons at 35. But this is a 7 gallon. That's a 7 gallon. Yeah. Okay. That's a 7 gallon. The other one is... You have a 3 gallon. That's the... Uh, I see the spider web right here, so I'm not going to go. But this is the peanut butter fruit. Peanut butter fruit. We also I, have the blackberry yen. Yeah, I saw the blackberry. Yeah. Um, so, what's 
So all this star fruit here. Star fruit, yeah. What what kind of those? Um, they're mixed. There's a lot of there is arkin bells, uh, cadis, uh, so sarikin bangans, different varieties. Okay. Yeah. But they're sweet. All of them are sweet. They look good. Yep. So something else I wanted to ask about. It was the oh the uh, purple star fruit. How much is that one? Uh, those are one sixty, and those are grafted, just in case they are not from seed. They are grafted. They are grafted, they are and they're one sixty. One sixty, and there is purple and there is green. Green, yeah, I saw the green one in the front. Yeah, yeah there's green. Okay, yeah. and this is a well, like 15 a gallons. fifteen gallon. Okay. Fifteen gallons. The next year they'll produce. Oh, okay. Yeah, next year they'll start really producing. Man, I have a small one that's like this high and you gotta make sure that it's grafted and it's not grafted it takes 10 years yeah years time. yeah those, i have a customer who has a human goes three mm -hmm. i went to make an inspection you know, i would do also consulting so i went and uh, he says he was asking me why it's not growing i said did it ever flower at least mm -hmm. no and how long has it been around seven years Okay, probably the next three or four years or so oh, because man. it's from seed. Yeah. When it's, when it's grafted, they flower really fast. They start actually folding fruits by the second year, second, third year, second year for the fruits. Very nice. And what got my attention really fast was the yellow mango steam. Yeah, I didn't even know they had yellow. Yes. I only heard of um, red yeah. and purple. Yeah. The, the purple one, it won't grow here because it's from the tropics. It's more tropical one. Okay. But the yellow varieties like the Santol of, um, but there's a lot of Garcinias. We have um, a Cha Cha. We have also Garcinia Picata, Lemon Drop. Those, those actually grows here. Yeah, I have the Cha Cha. And um, I got a really small seedling of the um, the red mangosteen. Yeah, the red mangosteen it won't grow. Well, we'll see. I know someone else that has a red one, and it's about maybe it's the size of this jackfruit, but they don't have fruit on it yet. That's what I'm saying. The, what, what it makes it fruit is the humidity conditions. Mm -hmm. It has to be close to the 100, like 90 something. Oh, yeah. Nine. But this yellow one will they, produce they, here? Those, those are subtropical. They grow in subtropical climate. Now, if you are in, in like in Homestead or all the way to Key West, mm -hmm. you could fruit purple mango seed because it's, it's those are sun 11 we are sun 10 yeah we're 10, 10. so sun 11, sun 11 12 13 those are the songs that it actually grows so the yellow one you don't have smaller sizes uh we're gonna have it back in december december okay so i'll have to come back because yeah. i don't want to i feel like you mango right now <laughs> <laughs> i mean, have like a big big one too yeah Cause um I would love to grow mangosteen. I would. Yeah. I heard they're good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, we have a lot of trees in the back. It's mainly the same like in the front, it's just more quantity. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I did this section. This is sugar apple here. Oh, yeah, don't forget because this I have is a the cherry moya. Uh, once I finish, I have I loquats. I don't know, this Christmas looks tempting. Hog plum. June plum. Hog plum. A cha cha. This is a salad tree. Have you guys ever saw that? Salad tree, Auntie Lilis, tricolor, very variegation, edible leaves with edible flower, high in antioxidant content. If they decide what? To, uh, Never heard of that. Wow. Cranberry hibiscus, very pretty. Native from Africa, perennial shrub, leaves similar to Japanese maple. That's what I was looking at. 
High is five feet. Mm, I have to get one of these. Excellent soap of antioxidants. Mm, flavor, pleasantly tart flavor. Can be eaten either raw or cooked. Commonly used to do pink lemonade. Wait, hold a phone. What? I need to ask about this. Never heard of that. Pink lemonade. <laughs> what? Katuk star gooseberry. These like look like tiny mango stings. The leaves can be eaten raw, cooked, stirred, fried, or steamed. Health benefits. Good pregnant mother stimulates production hormones. Beauty treatment, especially uh, pregnancy mother skin and hair. Boost breast milk. Increase production testosterone. Prefer top benefits. Influ influenza treatment. Do containing ephedrine. Contain Papaverina. So that's the star gooseberry. Oh, here's one right here. Okay, so it sounds like it's good for females. If you're pregnant. It's pretty though. I got the back side over here. These look like more hibiscus. Um, this is coral, honeysuckle. These are sea grapes. Cocoa plum. I love these little blue flowers. That's cute. I don't know. These days, little small flowers interest me now. Not big ones anymore. Just little small ones. Iris plant, if you're interested in landscaping trees. What is this? There's the tag. This is cool. I don't see a tag, but very nice. Um, oh, here's one. Jarofa? No, Jotropha. Oh, so it's a tree with little pink flowers. Cool. It's a big lemon. Whoa, is this a Meyer lemon? It's huge. Look at this. OMG. Oh, it is a Meyer lemon. Oh, wow. I didn't know they got that big. That is amazing. All this time I'm thinking it's an orange tree. What tree is this? I passed it earlier. What is this? ISD. Oh, it's a navel orange. There's some orange on this one too. It looks just like the damn Meyer lemon. <laughs> That's crazy. What's this one? Early gold orange. Okay. 
these are like way smaller okay I'm still here guys I'm trying to see if I missed anything here's a raw sapote just like the one I have at home but a little taller cool What is this? Kneesbury. This is a Cherimoya. What is this? Sugar apple. This look like either the purple or the red one. I can't tell. That picture is kind of dark. Oh, the red one. Salasat, blue quart, June plum. These are all the big um, mangoes up here. Kerry, Kent, Malika, Ugly Betty, Coconut Cream. What is that? La Centella. Ice cream. Triple sec. Philippine. Brum. Diamond. Julie. So this one right here is the Julie. Tommy Atkins, Hardy. Oh, that's avocado. Okay, so they have a big selection of um, mangoes, like seven gallon mangoes. They're really nice, really nice. So anyway, I'm gonna take my pick and get out of here, guys. Rolinia. Ooh, Rolinia. Very tempted to get a Rolinia, but I'm interested in a Cherimoya custard apple. Let me look this up first. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from the nursery today. Excuse the, um, lawn machine over there so this is a Jamaican peppermint and of course I got the super high and the one in the back which you can't really see is a um, cranberry hibiscus very pretty that's the closest thing i'm going to get to a red japanese maple because my red japanese maples look like they're gonna die so i got that in case they die at least i got that one all right so thank you guys for watching and happy gardening <laughs>